then convert all the iron we had in those furnaces into a pit gats. Because we can. The sun is rising. Actually, this is going to work out perfectly. By the time we put the cobblestone away, it'll be day. We should also feed the cows. I don't know if Jason has any wheat or whatever over there. Because that's that way we can get more leather when the time comes. Because one leather basically equals one book. And three books equals a bookshelf. So it works. And right now we have all we need, really, in terms of uh, books for the time being. At this point, we're just waiting on, um, what are we waiting on? <laughs> the levels. Level 20 sets we need for the infinity enchantment. Which would really help. And the best way to seem to get stuff, really, it seems at the moment, is, um, is nether quartz. Okay, creeper. You had some issues. <laughs> I should have brought nether rack with me to convert, but oh well. Too late now, I guess. Alright, so this is the UN chest. Or, well, the UN construction chest. Apparently, Jason's ravine is in the name of the, U the UN, so that's nice, but... He apparently got diamonds there. So... Not just the UN. Oh, There you go, baby. Oh yeah, that gives experience now, too. Not very much, but some. Alright, there we go. And at the end of the session, we can just go kill those cows. And get some of the bleh, leather. But yeah, now that we know about that, that's going to come in handy. Because that means we can just, like, make tons of bullets after we have our thing at full. And we can sell enchantments. That would be very useful. Especially because we're just going to donate the anvil to the UN at some point anyway. Meaning anyone can just put their bolts once they buy them from me in. It's the ultimate trading scheme. And that way they give me what I want. Whatever that may be. Obviously, some of the higher enchantments are going to be much harder to get from me. Possibly diamond costing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so yeah. That's awesome. Ooh, lag for a minute there. Yeah, at this point, I'm pretty much convinced it's not the hard drives. I think it's mainly the game itself lagging. Because I, I, I just... It doesn't make sense, really, for it to be anything else. Alright. Since I am OP, anyone can technically do this, but since it's been a bit... Because I'm paranoid this might overheat at some point. Because I don't really intend to stop. Because I'm crazy like that. Alright, do we... Hey, let's go check and see if there's any monsters in the temple. I'm just interested, really. This horse doesn't want to go. It's not a black horse, though. It's actually a brown horse. Works for me, but hey. Black horse, though, with iron armor. Perfect. For some reason, I'm not losing my food as much as I used to. Maybe if you keep yourself unhungry, your hunger doesn't go down as much. Hello there. Come on. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to slowly make my way in and kill all the enemies in here. It's my own little combat training area. What the fuck? And it's working. Ooh. Yeah, that's working pretty well. Well, let's get some money. Here we go. But yeah, we're gonna need a new sword soon. That's one of them down. Hello, spider. Ow. Fuck! They're double teaming me. I see you, skeleton. Ow, fuck. Combat seems to be lowering my food bars like crazy, but hey. That's to be expected, really. Hi, Creeper. How are you? Thanks for that. 
luckily. Cobblestone is resistant. Doesn't really matter. We'll leave it. Alright. Got some string and everything. That works. That works. So yeah, that's basically like a little combat area thing there. A combat training room where we can get monster materials. All of which will be helpful. Bone meal is going to be very helpful, just especially how we are in the nether with our farm set up right now. Yeah, for a while there, our food bar was not going down. It's just going down suddenly. Huh. For a minute there, I was going to say maybe it's kind of slightly more realistic where um, it's set so that if you eat more, your food kind of... You can carry more food. Like, obviously, if you're starving a lot, you're going to continue to starve kind of thing. Actually, no, it's the opposite. Never mind. Don't listen to me, kids. <laughs> I'm going the wrong way. Sorry. I'm just paranoid. I always chat shit. You all know that. For some reason, it seems Terrius was out. Doing shit. On Skype, anyway. There should be tons of stuff down here once we get down. Just running into that. Because I'm a dummy. But yeah, there should be tons of other stuff down here. Like, tons of gold and shit. It's not gold, but hey. Or, not gold. Diamonds, I mean. It's not diamonds, but it's something. And this will give experience, too. So, that's awesome. Boom. 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 Alright. So, now that we have all that, shove this in. Here, keep the mutton on me. And we also have wood. Oh yeah, that's right. This we need to remember this one. We left our slime balls. But yeah, the reason I put the um, the diamond pit back is it was getting kind of low. We're gonna have to repair it once in the anvil when we're um, when we find our next diamond pile. So we're gonna expand this by one more now. Eventually, we're just gonna be like fucking digging out rooms, pretty much. But it will find us resources. It will, damn it. It will. You know what I'm gonna do, actually? Um. Next. I don't know, hang on. Because what I can do is we can try and get a. F when we find diamonds and that's, I might not actually get it. I might just kind of mark it. And then we can get fortune on a pit gat. Because you can get it on any pit gat, unless like chat. And then we can mine the diamonds and get, like, double the diamond, basically. I think it might even be triple if you have fortune two or three. Possibly quadruple. That'd be insane if it was quadruple. But yeah, Jason's gonna have plenty of shit for the UN now, in terms of cobblestone. He just needs to build the damn structure at this point. Like, he just kind of wanders off and does his thing, it seems. Alright. But yeah, he can have his ravine. I have my own little mine here. Oh, the torches. Jesus. Sorry, I'm getting quiet. Sneeze coming up. Hang on. Not a sneeze warning yet, but... I'm trying to make it go away. I do that. I'm that kind of person. I'm weird, I know. Alright, I'm better. For the most part. Yeah, this will help us level up, too. <coughs> Hang on, guys, I need a drink. Sorry about that. Anyway. Alright. So, as I was saying... Um, I completely forget. <laughs> no, what I was saying is basically, um... Jason didn't have his ravine. I, I like where I am right now. But yeah, I'm gonna... I don't know. I want to do that thing with my fortune idea, but the issue is fortune is so expensive. And I don't think enchantments really go down for what item they're used on. As you saw, even books can cost like 20 cents levels or some shit, so... I don't think... I don't think we're gonna have any luck there at the moment. Because without a doubt, the first thing we need to get, end of discussion, is an infinity bow. It's just as simple as that. Because with an infinity bow, we're awesome. It's that simple. Because 
I'm probably just gonna go down the archer route at this point because of how things have been going everyone's pretty much using swords and everything obviously Jason can reflect my arrows but that's okay because in, in the t case of war war like against non uh, NPCs I'll just say say um, I'll just say it for what it is NPCs not players PvP basically not PvP I will use my bow but for players I'm probably just going to use my ultimate weapon aka invisibility potions take out my fire sword and just slay them that way honestly that's pro how I'm thinking I'm going to go about this really cuz that really is the mo one of the most deadliest weapons period so yeah also I think in terms of furnace making or well furnace smelting we're going to let as much stuff stay in there for now on cuz it seems as long as I don't take the stuff. Experience seems to accumulate. I hope I said that right. Otherwise, I just sound like a complete dumbass, and I'm sorry. But it seems to accumulate, and then the longer I keep it in, the more I'll get. Whereas if I just take a little, it'll actually be a lot less. So I'm just going to kind of shove as much stuff in the furnace as I can and let it do its thing. All right. Next. Oh, is there stuff? Okay. That's one problem without a diamond. We're going to be doing lots of back and forth. So this time, let's make two pickaxes. Oh, I thought I missed coal there. Coal is still stuff that gives experience. That's mainly what we're doing right now. Just trying to survive and get 26 experience so we can get ourselves a goddamn infinity bow. And if I lose that infinity bow, I'll be very mad, too. Alright. First and foremost, let's uh, find a suitable iron host here. You'll host our iron. There you go. Alright. So we'll shove all the iron in there, because we're going to find more iron than anything else, really. And this time we'll make... Oop. Two pickaxes. So there we go. Stits. Stits. We got stits. We don't got stits. How do we not have stits? Gotta make some stits. Wait, do we have stits, actually? No, we don't. Alright. Figured we didn't. Boom. Boom. What am I doing? Iron pick now. All right. Two iron pits. Perfect. Show there anything else in there. We'll keep it on us for now. Because our chests are just getting stock full of crap at the moment. Yeah, if, as long as we don't actually take it, it doesn't give us the experience. So that means we can just get tons and tons and tons of experience in the furnaces at a time. And get more that way. And once they obviously reach 64, or I do the math, and I see it will reach 64 unless I take it out, then we'll get more experience that way, basically. That's what I'm saying I'm going to do anyway. Oh, God. Sorry, I'm just, like, trying to think what the fuck I even just said. <laughs> like, like that sounded right, but I, I have said this before. I probably not, I'm not sure if in this series, but I am a writer more than I am a speaker. So, if I sound really stupid sometimes, I am very sorry. The fact that you're even watching this, honestly, let's, let's, let's be 100% frank here, you deserve a fucking medal. <laughs> you deserve a fucking medal. You can deal with my quartz and for that, really, I do mean it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. <laughs> like, if that last sentence I just said made absolutely no sense, and I'm, I'm going to see it, because I, I see it in rec editing, too. Like, I catch myself. I know what I'm saying is wrong. I'm not one of those people that, like, says something and 100% thinks it's right even after, you know, hearing and editing. Like, I see my mistakes. I know I fuck up a lot. But that's the thing. I'm more of a writer than I am a speaker. But I love video games, and I love talking to people too as long as they're not crazy people and I've met my fair share of crazy people and I don't mean crazy in a sense like that they're different like different people are awesome look at me for god's sakes why doesn't that give me I thought that gave you experience I guess ironed in all this time I didn't realize but anyway I don't mean crazy in that sense I mean crazy in the sense that like they will flip out over the simplest of things or they're gonna kill me over a video game there are some people that are crazy that have threatened to do that and just th that kind of route. That scares me when it does that. Don't do that shit. Game, please. Thank you. But yeah. So I don't mean crazy in that route. Because let's be honest here. 
if you follow me on social media or anywhere, you know my opinions at times can be out there. They're not always bad. Some people think that I think out of the box, and that's a good thing, but some people... Let's just say for some people, my, my ideas are pretty far out there. So, yeah. I'm technically in the crazy people crowd, if you want to call crazy different, but crazy in a sense that they're not crazy in a sense that they're going to kill me. I'm not in that crowd. That's what I'm trying to say, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Weird rant, I know. Motivational speech type thing, kind of, maybe-ish, maybe. I don't fucking know. How much cobblestone do we have? Still not much. Di that diamond pit, when you think about it, got us so fucking far compared to these di our iron pits. That's ridiculous, really. But yeah, we'll be able to shove more of the iron in for more experience. At this point, like I said, that's all we're doing, really. Just experience grinding. At the moment we hit 20 sits, we can get an infinity bow, and I really want an infinity bow. I don't know, though. We might... I keep saying that. But... I almost want to get the flaming sword now, or a fortune pickaxe of some kind, because... Now that we're sealing off the nether, it's, you know, it's ending up better. But no, I need the, I need the infinity bow. All I finish the infinity bow can break, and that'll make me very upset. Mm. Oh, I can repair it, that's right, never mind. I just have to be careful with my bow. I think you can, if you take two enchanted items and they're different enchants, I think they fuse. Like, if I took an Infinity Bow and an Unbreaking Bow and fused them, I think they would actually fuse. I'm not really sure on that. But I sure as hell want to find out, honestly. We'll try that out at some point. Because if that's the case, that would be amazing. Or maybe just uh, adding on with bolts. That could work, too. Because I need to get an unbreaking on my bow as well as infinity, which I knew used to be possible. Because I remember, I remember when it was more random, you could get two enchantments instead of just one. Now it seems like you can only get one. So, but at least you know which one you're going to get now, despite it being a random system. But yeah, that's what we can use boots for now. Technically, we can um. Get the randomized shit out. Get some of the worse or better enchantments into bots. Just so we can change what we can get on certain items. And then, yeah. And then we can sell the enchantment. Ooh, what the fuck? What the fuck did I just do? Why? Wait, what? I broke the game. <laughs> I broke the game there for a minute. That was weird. Okay, then. That was very strange. For some reason, I didn't... Even though I filled my bucket back up with water, the water didn't despawn. That was weird. That was very weird. Holy fuck, we still haven't found diamond. That's crazy. But, like, we're just killing time at this point. Making those gas disappear in the nether, so when we go back, it'll be nice and clean, and then we can keep nether racking up the place. And we need iron, too, so... Yeah. We're gonna bring stuff back this time. Hopefully, anyway. We'll see. Like, I wanna bring some... A stack of iron back this time, at least, so we can shove that in the nether. Either way, we're gonna take everything in this chest and bring it back to the nether before we end this session, so... The issue is, I record in lost sessions, you know that, for games like this. Like, certain games, like, games that have like a specific end, like, uh, I don't know, match-based games like Halo and that kind of stuff, I tend to go maybe an hour or two free. Minecraft is infinite. Minecraft is huge. Minecraft is just my, my game, really. I love Minecraft. So I tend to go really, really long. Same with MMOs at times, but it depends with MMOs. MMOs are different, because MMOs can get tedious. It's arguably so can Minecraft. Sneeze, maybe? Sneeze? Yeah, sneeze. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway. Arguably, Minecraft can get kind of tedious, but not really, because at the end of the day, you're building, and I love building. It's just my thing. I love being creative. That's kind of just how I am. Sounds like we're approaching the cave. 
Finally. Still on level 11, right? Yep, still on level 11, I think. Hang on. Yeah, restart. Okay. It takes me a little bit to find the fucking level in those messes. I kind of want to check that in the nether. Like, if I go on my portal, I want to see what chunk I'm in or, you know, what height I'm on. And then when I go in the nether, I want to see what height I'm on, because that'll help me with mathematic, like, coordinating where portals and stuff will go. This is a cave coming up, I think, because this is dirt. That or I've somehow approached an ocean. We're going to want a shovel. Because this is a lot of dirt. Let's just use up this pick. Because we're going to use it up soon at this point. And then we'll come back with a shovel, an iron shovel, and just kind of dig it out. Because, yeah, that is going to become annoying otherwise. Alright. Back we go. Because we have a lot of iron now. In our, um... I'm not going to use the furnace iron, but we already have so much iron. Hang on. Is there a way we can... Hang on. Here. But that way I don't forget it's up there. We'll do that. Perfect. Because I'm going to want that redstone. So now what's our inventory like? Alright, we'll make three pickaxes this time. And one shovel. I'm pretty much just gonna keep digging until we have an ar just like a shit ton of cobblestone. Cause so far that's just been how I've been doing it, and this will also give plenty of shit to Jason, cause he did ask for cobblestone. Alright, just just take that 11 for now. I don't know if it'll be no, it'll be enough. Shovel. Thank you. Wait, what just? I just realized what just. Oh, something must have happened. I have no idea what happened. <laughs> I, I have no idea. I thought I might have. I, I don't. I'm not even going to try at this point to attempt that. Mystery. Alright. Free pits. Mutton. Torches. Boom. Alright, off we go again.